production. My next guest is fresh off his Masters Championship. And joining us now on the Notre Dame Video Hotline, here is the Masters Champion, Patrick Reed. Patrick, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you, and thanks for having me. Oh, it's great. I see, uh, are we in a green jacket again, or is that just something that's become an everyday part of your wardrobe? Uh, of course, I had to wear it. And, um, you know, the only time I really took it off was get from the magenta pink shirt I had on, on Sunday now to, uh, you know, the buttoned-up tie, uh, buttoned-up shirt and tie. You know, I think it's wonderful. When, when you have the opportunity to earn what you did, to be able to be a Masters champion, and you get to wear that green jacket, you just keep wearing it and wearing it and wearing it everywhere you go. I think it's just a, a wonderful accomplishment. It was a terrific uh, competition. And first, but, but here we are on Notre Dame Day, and a lot of people are very curious about your connection to Notre Dame. Why and how have you become such a Notre Dame fan? Well, really, I mean, growing up as a kid, I mean, as, as far as I can remember, every Saturday we had, you know, the football games on. And, you know, that, that's what my family always loved to do, loved to watch. And, uh, you know, this year, past year, my wife got me, as you can see, my wife got me a, uh, you know, field passes and tickets to my first time in South Bend to go to a football game. Uh, you know, I've played golf with Coach Kelly and, you know, played golf with Jimmy Dunn. And, you know, those guys, they set up just – the perfect birthday gift for myself and to be able to go to Notre Dame you know, with my wife and experience a game up there and just enjoy my time. Uh, it's just, it was a dream come true and it was just a blast. I know Jimmy and, and Coach Kelly picked your brain as far as tips go. Was there one thing that you could help them with? I mean, there's probably a few more, more than one, but was there one thing you helped them with? Ooh. <laughs> um, you know, the Dunn man, you know, we just need to get his game, golf game as good as his shoe game is. You know, I mean, <laughs> if that happens, he'd be joining me out here on the tour. And uh, Coach Kelly, you know, just just stick to coaching, bud. <laughs> pretty good at coaching. And, um, you know, the awesome thing is just spending time with them, playing some golf with the guys, and, you know, getting to know them outside of their normal lifestyle. You know, and just being able to hang out with them, play some golf, you know, have some good talks for four and a half, five hours. It was just, it was an awesome experience and, uh, you know, true friends that, you know, last, last a lifetime. You know, I'm told you received an invitation to be on this show last October before the Masters in an email that predicted, predicted that your appearance would be here after your first Masters win. How did that happen? Yeah, you know, he, he obviously talked to the, he, he talked to the right man upstairs to be able you know, to be able to pick the Masters champion that far in advance. Uh, I remember getting the email. I remember reading it and being like, oh, man, I, one, I would absolutely love to come on the show just because how big of a fan I am for, uh, of Notre Dame. And, you know, then all of a sudden to make the poem last hole, to win the green jacket, and then to get reminded looking back at the email that, wow, he, he picked me well in advance. And, um, you know, it's just awesome. And it's, uh, it, it's crazy how things work. Let's talk a little bit about Sunday at Augusta. Um, you've got a three-shot lead starting the day. All of a sudden, as the round goes on, the start doesn't go exactly like you want it to. Rory seems to be coming out of the gate, and then you go back and forth, and then Justin starts to make, or Jordan starts to make his run. Can you hear and feel the roars as you move around Augusta? Oh, you can hear absolutely everything. You know, everything seems to echo in the pines, and... Uh... You know, they, they have positioned those leaderboards absolutely perfectly. So no matter what shot you're hitting, you're seeing what everyone else is doing. And, uh, you know, the, the good thing for me is because I'm, I'm a scoreboard watcher, I love to know where I am at all times. I watch them like crazy. And so every time those guys would make a birdie, I was able to see it. And, and I just had to keep on reminding myself that those guys were birdieing holes that I haven't played yet. And obviously that means that, you know, those are birdie opportunities. Those are holes that I'm going to have a chance to go after and get. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to you know, fend them off and play some solid golf towards the end to, uh, you know, win my first green jacket. Now, besides the green jacket, you now, this is reported, you carry blue and gold tees in your bag for luck. True or not true? That is true. Jimmy Dunn. Yeah, Jimmy Dunn, he, uh, he gave me some of the tees uh, the week before when I was there. And I kept them in the golf bag. And then next thing you know, there was a bag in my locker, kept those in the golf bag. And... 
You know, they, they brought me they brought me the luck of the Irish to go win my first green jacket. Well, Patrick, I, uh, I don't think this is going to be the last tournament you're going to win. Certainly being a Masters champion, you join an elite group of so many wonderful golfers. I am not a passionate golfer. I am an obsessive golfer. So hopefully we'll have a chance to play around together. Thanks so much for taking the time to enjoy, to spend this time with us. Enjoy the green jacket as much as you can. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me and go Irish. You betcha. Thank you.